Now, I'm sure you guys have heard by now that there's an executive order on cryptocurrency that is set to be signed by Joe Biden as early as tomorrow. Now, this could have a huge impact on the cryptocurrency market. It doesn't matter if you hold Shiba Inu coin. It doesn't matter if you hold Bitcoin, Ethereum, whatever. If you're holding crypto, this, this executive order by Joe Biden on the cryptocurrency could have a very large impact, both positively and negatively, depending how far it reaches. Now, I know a lot of people out there, if you're like myself, you're thinking, my gosh, uh, the government's already elbow deep into my pocket. How much deeper can they go? <laughs> well, I'm going to tell you, they might as well jump into your pocket like a little Blue's Clues episode because they're going to go as deep as possible. And this executive order, we need to talk about it because it could be good, but could also, I mean, it could also be pretty bad depending on how much they want to regulate and how much they want to restrict the crypto market. So in this video, let's talk about the pros and cons. Let's talk about what it could mean for your cryptocurrency holdings. And uh, if it sounds like something you're interested in, let's get started. What's up, everybody? I'm Clay. I'm here to make 2022 the best year ever. If you haven't clicked on that subscribe button, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Join us. Become a bro. We are here every single day, and we are growing our portfolios together. And look, if you're brand new to investing, you don't know how or where to buy stocks and crypto, you got a link in the description for Weeble. Super simple to set up your account. Any deposit right now is going to get you guys at least five free stocks with huge values, up to huge values, right? You're guaranteed a minimum, and it is still pretty good. And then if you guys do make any $1 crypto trade, you're going to get at least $5 in free cryptocurrency, your choice. You can choose whichever one. I think there's like six different ones you can choose from. Excellent opportunity, especially to get in as the market is down right now and ride it back up. But guys, let's talk about the, the executive order that's floating around out there because there's still a lot of people who are confused. Now, I know a lot of people on this channel, they hold Shiba Inu coin. They've got their cryptocurrency holdings, Bitcoin, Ethereum, all of that. We watch it every single day. We talk about it every single day. But this executive order could be a big big deal, both to the upside and potentially to the downside. So let's talk about some of the pros and cons, but really let's, let's clear up some of the confusion because a lot of people right now still don't know what's in the executive order. And by everything that we can see, okay, everything that we've seen leaked or discussed, the executive order isn't going to be a, a, like just a, a wham, bam, take your cryptocurrency, thank you ma'am type of deal. It's going to be coming out and basically setting up different agencies. Now this is a very early stage process in the potential regulation of cryptocurrency and what it means for us is that we're going to have a lot of eyes, a lot of analysts looking in and they're going to be looking at a couple different things. Now, the reason it's getting so much attention right now are because of the speculation and because of the ideas that, that Russia can kind of sidestep the sanctions that the U.S. is putting out there by using cryptocurrency. And although that is a possibility, uh, don't listen to people that tell you cryptocurrency is only for illicit activity. Cryptocurrency is only for illegal dealings because, man, you know, you can launder money all day if you put it on the Internet and then it's clean. It's not that easy. There's a there's literally a record of every transaction that takes place. And unless you really have a lot of dirty bankers and, and the financial system under your thumb, uh, it's probably one of the worst ways to launder money because every single transaction is tracked and verified on the blockchain. So it's not as scary as it is a lot of people make it seem. And they might be pushing that narrative so that they can get their thumb on it, so that they can get their hand in it and they can control it the way that they want to control it. Guys, we've never been here in, in, like, if you look back in history, it's always been fiat, currency controlled by the government. And right now, with DeFi just growing at exponential rates and the cryptocurrency market growing as fast as it is, governments across the globe realize they need to get their hands in it even further. They need to take control of it or, or they're going to lose control of currency. And when you lose control of currency, if you lose control of the ability to, to tax and track every transaction that takes place across your country, you lose control. 
Simply, you do. I mean, if people have their own currency that they can buy and sell and trade in all day long, uh, that, that, that doesn't bode very well for those that are in charge. So that's a lot of the main reasoning behind this executive order. But like I say, I wouldn't really worry too much because if you dive into it, they're basically lo looking at setting up different agencies to make recommendations on the next step. They're going to be setting up different agencies on whether or not cryptocurrency can be used to, uh, to, to get through these sanctions and so on. They're going to be looking at different cryptocurrencies and wondering, wondering whether or not we need some regulatory body like the SEC to determine which cryptocurrencies can be created and which cryptocurrencies cannot be created. So after all of these different agencies are set up, and this is all the executive order is intended to do at the moment, like the information that we have, it is just to set up new bodies to study and research and make recommendations on next steps to take. So in and of itself, this executive order, in my opinion, is not going to be a huge deal. It's the recommendations that the agencies created from this executive order uh, end up putting forward that could end up being the big deal. Now, what should we and what could we expect coming from this executive order? Expect more regulation. Expect a, a, a tighter thumb to be pressed down. On your, on your cryptocurrency exchanges like your, your centralized exchanges like Coinbase, Binance, Kraken, Gemini, uh, you know, all of these, these centralized crypto exchanges that we have out there, expect them to be more highly regulated and more highly controlled. Now, if you guys aren't familiar with, with centralized exchanges, they already have KYCs out there. You need to know your customer. They need to know where these funds are coming from and where they're going to, and they do that at this point. The real crypto world takes place on a decentralized finance platform. That's where nobody but everybody has control. And if no one person has control, think about that. If nobody has control, it, it brings up uncertain things and, and a fear or a danger because everybody loves to be in control. And when you give up that control, you're, you're letting the unknown happen. And that scares governments. So that's what we're going to be facing right now. And let's just look at a worst case and best case scenario really quick before we end the video. Best case scenario, we get some government regulation to come in. They don't mess with, with everybody that's wanting to, you know, buy and sell and trade crypto. They tax it the same as they're always been. They've always been taxing it. They clean up the space from all the scammers that are out there. And there's some sort of a review process that not validates every single coin and, and make sure it's not a scam because you still got scams that are going to break through, but drastically reduces the amount of scam coins that are able to be listed. Best case scenario. Worst case scenario, everything has to flow through a government centralized cryptocurrency. Everything has to take place in the, the central bank's digital currency, and they have control of every crypto out there. If that's the case, and they start to shut down centralized exchanges, and you have to use some sort of a government centralized exchange, uh, I, I do believe that we could see a drastic reduction in the prices of cryptocurrency across the board. But this is a best case and worst case scenario. I want to know what you guys think is going to come from the executive order down in the comments below. If you're holding Shiba Inu coin, if you're holding big, literally any cryptocurrency for that matter, let us know what you guys think is going to happen down there in the comments below. If this button right here is still red, make sure to click it, subscribe to the channel, join us, become a bro. We are here every single day and we are growing our portfolios together. Claybro883 on Twitter and Instagram, Weeble Binance, Gemini, Crypto.com in the description below. And until the next time, hope that each and every one of you have an awesome day.